Hey guys, John here. Today we're in the CS80 V4 and we're gonna make a nice, dirty, kind of fun lead. Okay, so let's go to File, New Preset. And let's kind of dial in a little bit of an envelope here. Maybe something kind of like that. A little bit of portamento in here. And the fun part here is let's go to the advanced section under the modulations. For this first function, let's set this to LFO. And let's do some interesting shapes kind of like this here. Just make something on time, but also something just a little bit strange, kind of like that, maybe a little bit rhythmic here. And we're gonna use something like this to modulate the filter really, really, really fast, which is gonna be kind of a cool sound that we're gonna get. Maybe something like this. And let's go to none. And then on the filters, let's go to low pass cutoff. And right now it's on one over four, let's go pretty fast. So we're basically removing this <laughs> low pass filter really, really fast according to this shape here. So now the fun comes into the distortion. So let's go here, click on the distortion. And for this one, I kind of like to do the hard clip here. And let's see what this sounds like here with a lot of drive. You gotta change the output gain. Let's get a little bit of chorus as well. So the chorus Juno 6. And some nice delay could be kind of cool as well. So let's go to our delay and maybe make something synced to maybe one over four. Let's change the octave here. So on this first one here, let's click on this plus here, maybe one octave. And what might be interesting on the second one, maybe we can go to plus one octave, one fifth, something like that, and kind of blend these two in so we can copy this down here. See what that sounds like, this is getting crazy. Maybe just one octave might sound nice. Maybe back off in the distortion a tad. That's kind of cool. And by default, even just moving the mod wheel with the settings that we have here, it kind of really makes it expressive as well. Maybe a little bit more of the delays might be kind of nice here. So back to our effects here. Maybe do the stereo width a little bit here. Maybe more feedback. Change the fine, Let's see what that sounds like.
Oh, that's cool. Increasing both of these releases gives a nice, interesting release sound. And I do want to add a little bit of the panny here for the mod wheel. But yeah, that's kind of a fun, spooky, kind of distorty, kind of cool vibe to play. I don't really know what I'm going to call this. Uh, scary lead, maybe? Or... Crushed and Scary Lead, I guess. It's such a stupid name. Anyway, Crushed and Scary Lead. If you want to get Crushed and Scary, scary Lead, there's a link in the video description below. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.